Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys the best places to live off campus at UF. How's it going? My name is Ashton Herndon, and living on my own has by far been the best thing that's ever happened to me. I mean, before coming to college, living on my own was a dream come true. I would live by my own rules, decorate my place however I wanted, and I could stay up as late as I wanted to watch the best college YouTuber in the game. And even though I was super happy with how my life was going in Tallahassee, everything I loved about my apartment went completely down the drain when I saw just how nice the apartments were at UF. I mean, every Everywhere I went, I would see these beautiful apartment complexes that looked like the perfect place to live. And even though I lived in a completely different city, just being able to explore these apartments all day was a dream come true. I would go on endless tours with my friends where the wonderful tour guides would show you all these amazing facilities. But once I actually stayed the night in one of these luxurious apartments, I started to realize that all these places aren't what they make it out to be at all. You realize that there's a leak in your room, none of the appliances work, and you end up being next door neighbors with the frat guys, so you spend most of your nights looking like this. Now, I don't know about you, but from personal experience, none of that stuff is appealing to live in. My UF apartment experience turned out to be completely different than I thought it would be. And I started to lose hope in finding that perfect college apartment. And that's why I'm here today. I traveled all around Gainesville looking for the best apartments that you have so that you never end up in a situation like this guy. But we have a ton of places to see and not a lot of time to do it. So I'll meet you in the car to give you guys a little rundown. Oh hey, fancy seeing you here. So obviously when it comes to picking the best apartment, there's a lot to take into consideration. But lucky enough for you, I rated each apartment based off of five essential things on a scale of one to 10. So the first thing I based it off of was the price of rent. So one being the worst value and 10 being the best. The second thing I based it off of was the amenities. So like the pools, the gyms, and everything along those lines. The proximity of the place to campus, the parking situation, and last but not least, the realistic rankings from the residents themselves. And after adding everything up, we have a final score on a scale of one to 10, one being the worst apartment out there, and 10 being your future home, baby. And now that we have all the math covered, it's time to go on a little apartment tour. So coming in at our number five spot on our list, we have The Lark. Located about five minutes away from campus, The Lark really gives you everything you need within a very reasonable price. It's on the backside of campus, so everything is a little bit more easy going. And overall, there's a lot less foot traffic. If you're in pre halt The Lark is one of the closest apartment complexes to all the hospitals. So getting in your clinical hours becomes super easy to do. Along with a nice location, the parking garage is completely gated off, so you never have to worry about random people taking your spot. And I know I've said it a million times before, but having a good parking spot in Gainesville is a very rare sight to see. But there's still a lot more to the Lark than just a solid parking situation. As far as amenities go, the Lark has a super nice pool on the ground level with some comfy chairs in the hot tub. On the inside, you have a super nice study area with a ton of modern art to it. And to top it all off, they have a whole ass bowling alley in this place. So I mean, this is definitely not something you see every day. And the best part about it, you get all this stuff included with one of the best prices in all of Gainesville. But even though this place seems like a dream come true, it is a little farther from campus than all the other apartment complexes. But for a super nice place with a ton of different amenities, getting your steps in really doesn't seem that bad. So with all that being said, the Lark comes in at a very solid 7.2 on our list. But if you're looking for a place that's a little closer to campus, you can check out the row. And I mean, if you're looking for a brand new apartment, then this place is about as good as you can get. Located right off 13th Street, the row is by far one of the most modern apartments on our list. I mean, this place hasn't even been open for an entire year yet, and all the cutting edge features really just prove just how new it is. Every single door has a special lock on it that's connected to your phone. So as far as safety goes, the row really has this place on lock. I mean, you need a key to get into the building, a key to get into the elevator, a key to get into your apartment, and a key to get into your actual room on the inside. So I think it's safe to say, safety should be the least of your concerns here. As far as amenities go, you have a nice little lounge, a pool on the third floor, and on top of some nice places to hang out and study, this place is also a huge life hack when it comes to parking. I mean, every resident is able to get an assigned parking spot here, so you're pretty much guaranteed a spot anytime you need. But if you don't wanna pay a pretty hefty parking fee, you have a huge parking garage about a block away where you can park completely free every single night. So I mean, either way you go, you're one of the only apartments near campus that actually has solid parking. The only downside to the row is that it is a brand new building, so a lot of their amenities like a coffee shop and a rec center aren't exactly done yet. But considering just how great everything else is here, Waiting on a gym is definitely worth it. So after taking everything into consideration, the row brings in a very solid score of a 7.4 on our list. But if you're looking for a place that's a little more established, then you should definitely check out the hub. And I mean, this place is so well established that they actually have two locations in Gainesville. But I'm not gonna lie, I've heard that the one on third is a little bit nicer. So I mean, that's the one we're gonna check out today. Starting off very strong, the hub on third's location is pretty hard to beat. The building is right behind a Publix, so getting groceries into your apartment is super stress-free 
And if you're ever in the mood for a late night snack, the Krispy Kreme is right across the street. Not only is the building right behind a Publix, but it's also only about a five minute walk away from campus. So pretty much everything you need is within walking distance of your place. As far as amenities go, they have a nice rooftop pool, an amazing study area, and a very hyped up gym. And along with some pretty nice amenities, they have some really cool features here too. The hub has a service where they come around the hallways and pick up all your trash, and every apartment fridge spits out filtered water. And I don't know if you've ever been to a college apartment before, but finding clean water is almost damn near impossible. So I mean, this is a huge thing for me. And from what I've heard, there's a lot of homeless people that walk up and down 13th Street, so the safety is a little bit shaky here. But considering you have a ton of great features and amenities, the hub brings in a very nice score of a 7.6 on our list today. But even though this may seem like the perfect place to be, the hub has some pretty tight competition out there, like Stadium House. Built by the same people as State House Varsity of Florida State, Stadium House is no stranger when it comes to having luxury apartments. I mean, along with the road, this place is in its first year of residence, so everything's brand new and super cleaned up. And I mean, as far as amenities go, this place has everything you could ask for and more. I mean, right in the middle, you have an enclosed little pool area with a patio and an outdoor gym. On the inside, you have a super nice study area, a bunch of ping pong tables, a golf simulator, their own recording studio, and the craziest part of them all, they have their own damn dog spa in here. Like, what? Alongside all the insane amenities here, Stadium House is also by far one of the best places when it comes to location. I mean, you're only a five minute walk away from the stadium, so game days are super convenient. You're about a two minute walk away from the Plaza of the Americas. And if you're all about going out and partying, this place is, uh, it's right across the street from all the bars. So I mean, anywhere you wanna go, you're definitely within arm's reach. The only downside to Stadium House is that it is a new apartment, so the rent is really, really high here. But considering everything else you have around you, you're definitely getting your money's worth. So with that being said, Stadium House brings in a very nice 8.3 on our list. But even though this place checks all the boxes, there's still one place out there that just beat it out. So let's go check it out. So coming in at our number one spot on our list, we have the one, the only, Standard Apartments. Woo! But even though this place has some pretty fierce competition out there, the standard brings together all the perks of every other apartment out there, but with even more to offer. Located right at the corner of 13th and University, the standard has everything you need within arm's reach of your apartment. I mean, right across the street, you have the Warrington School of Business. On the other side, you have restaurants like Kava and Huey Magoo's, and you're only steps away from Publix and Paisano's. So I mean, on any given day, you can enjoy a nice garlic knot like Mr. Perillo here. Along with all your essentials, you also have a ton of different restaurants on the bottom floor of your building. So I mean, anything you're feeling that day, they pretty much have it here. I mean, you have a Chick-fil-A, an SIE place, bento sushi, and my all-time favorite, Bole. But if all these restaurants weren't enough to sell you, this place also has a shit ton of parking. The standard has an 11-story parking garage, so it's super easy to find parking for yourself or anyone you want to have over. And I mean, considering Gainesville has literally zero parking, this is definitely something you don't come by very often. The standard also has their own rooftop pool, an indoor and outdoor gym, a whole ass racquetball court, a nice little sky deck outside. And if you're still not impressed, if you live on the 9th to the 10th floor here, you have exclusive access to a VIP pool and lounge here. I mean, come on. You can't beat that shit. So after taking all these amazing aspects into consideration, the standard comes in at a whopping 9.2 on our list today. But obviously there's still a ton of other great apartments out there that we didn't mention here today. So for some honorable mentions, we have the Griffin, the Continuum, Second Ave, and last but not least, we have the one and only Legacy Apartments. All right, we good? <laughs> all right, we'll meet you guys back in the apartment in three, two, <sighs> Oh, hey. So obviously there's a lot of nice places out there to live at UF. And these are just a few apartment complexes out of the hundreds that are out there. So just know that every ranking I did was based purely off my experience. And there's probably a ton of different places out there that people would say are a lot nicer. But at the end of the day, wherever you end up living, as long as you keep a positive mindset and look for the things we talked about today, you're gonna turn out a lot better than this guy. Oh! Oh. So with that being said, if you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I do respond to every single comment. So if you have any other questions or video ideas, make sure to leave them down below. I do have a playlist of everything you need to know about college. So if you want to go check it out, it'll be right here. And if you want to join the family of over 6.1 thousand subscribers now, you can click right here. And yeah, that's it for me this week, guys. And I will see you guys next week. What the fuck?